How's it going guys? Vitamin Moose here coming at you with part 20 of Let's Platinum Far Cry 4. We're starting to make some serious progress. Um, but thanks to a one of my first subscribers actually, Mr. Robotic Assassin. Um, he informed me that Far Cry 4 has some multiplayer trophies. Uh, I was completely not aware of this when I started the game because I haven't even looked at the trophy list properly um, and I just assumed that it would not have for some reason. Um, and it being a game that came out in 2014, I thought that might actually pose quite a bit of an issue. So I immediately went and uh, checked them out and then started doing them. So most of them are co-op trophies which Mr. Robotic Assassin is more than kind enough and he's going to help me out with those but I think that will be the end of this whole Let's Platinum series but there were two or three trophies that I was quite worried about um, as they needed full lobbies of other players. Um, they weren't difficult at all uh, so that helps so damn much but um, we went through and as you can probably see in the footage, I went and tried to get them. And after, it was one evening and one morning of a little bit of waiting for games. Um, in fairness, I would have gotten the one trophy the first night, but the internet for my whole neighborhood actually just went out <laughs> for some reason. So that one took a little bit longer, but I did end up getting both of those quite easily. Now they are called they are called Renaissance Man and Community Surprise. And Renaissance Man is finish a public match of each game type in Battles of Kirat game modes. And that's literally it. Like you just need to go to Battles of Kirat on the main menu. And then there's three types of game modes. You just do one match of each. You just need to play it from start to finish. Um, you don't need to win. You don't need to do anything. You literally just need to play it. And then you will get this one. And the other one is also easy, although it did deceive me a little bit in the beginning because it just says play a top rated map in the map browser. Um, but you actually need to die, which is odd. So if you play one of like the first 10 top rated maps in my map browser all had the invisibility invincibility on so that you can't die. But the way to get this trophy the easiest is just to go into a game. I'll just load up any one of the top rated maps in the map browser and then you just let the first enemy kill you and the trophy pops immediately. Um, so with the first ones that I played, I think there were some Mad Max maps. They... I couldn't actually get the trophy to pop because no one could kill me. Um, so then I had to go back and look for a map specifically that didn't have invincibility on. Um, but other than that, guys, these two, Renaissance Man and Community Surprise, are really, really easy trophies. Uh, I do not know for how long you'll be able to get these still. Um, the servers on my part, it, depending on the time of day, it would take anywhere from maybe 5 minutes to maybe 20 minutes to get close. There was one instance where I was sat down for maybe a good 40 minutes without getting a match. But as I said, that was a one-time occurrence. Um, other than that, I would recommend if you are going to do this Platinum, try and get these as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't be a problem at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I've been Venom the Moose. This is Far Cry 4, part 20, which is insane. <laughs> and we are making some serious progress. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.